All right, guys, Green Ranger 1701 back here with a second video of the evening. Um, we just completed a review of the Mighty Storm Breaker um, from Marvel Legends. I did fail to mention I purchased this off of GameStop.com. That is the only place that I've been able to find a solid retail price for the weapon. Obviously, going on to eBay, Amazon, things like that, you're going to really find them marked up. So don't know what their stock looks like. They occasionally do put this thing on clearance. I wish I would have jumped on it when I did that back then. But uh, I highly recommend the product. Really, really fun. And of course, I have my amazing Mjolnir here, uh, right from Marvel Official. You can find that video as well. I'll put that in the description below. So what are we talking about here today? You guessed it, Thor 4, Love and Thunder. This is the latest suit. Um, so if I get the concept art correctly, everything else like that, what we're looking at here is Room King Thor out of the actual Ragnarok uh, comic arc, which is interesting. Um, it was deviated so far in um, uh, the uh, actual Ragnarok 3 film by produced by the MCU. So uh, essentially, just to break things down, uh, Loki caused a lot of havoc, Thor needed more power, and Odin, the power that he acquired, he sacrificed one eye to get it. Um, and for Thor to go on the same journey and acquire the same Rune King powers, um, he had to give up more than the prior person. So he ended up sacrificing both eyes, and then Thor went straight OP. So it was really, really cool. Um, hopefully, judging by the cosplay we're going to review here today, and the very, very similar look we find in the comics, Hopefully, we'll be getting that same type of Thor in this upcoming film. Um, you'll also find that I mentioned in the prior video that uh, was not a fan of Ragnarok. Didn't like the direction. Didn't like how Thor was virtually Tony Stark with an Asgardian look. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of heat, so post them down below. I'm a fair debater. I'm not a name caller. I do like debate. Um, I'm a Thor, more of a Thor 1 and 2 guy. Um, that's more core to the character and what I believe that Thor should always kind of maintain in terms of character. But enough prattling. Let's get straight into this cosplay. Uh, gosh, <laughs> you know, um, I got the Dark World one. It was one of the very first ones that I got when I first started uh, reviewing. And I really, really loved it. It's very heavy. Now, upon initial review of this, just off of the website, I don't think this one's going to be that heavy. I think it'll be a little bit more breathable, which is going to be really nice. Um, and then of course, you know, later on I got the Loki cosplay as well. Um, that was really, really fun. That was based on Ragnarok. His suit was really cool in that movie. So, uh, this is, uh, <laughs> uh, I saw it and I couldn't resist, especially after I saw the concept art and whatnot. And the blue and gold, I just, man, I'm not usually a fan of gold, but this combination just looks phenomenal. So, let's start. Looks like we're going to start with the pants here. The good old usual pleather, right? So not very breathable, pretty standard. Could be me, but these look a little short. <laughs> Hope not, crossing fingers. <laughs> Could just be me here. Uh, so looks like we have just some of the usual resin um, use of fabric for the uh, gold plating. Of course, the blue line. These do, uh, let me fill the inside here. Yeah, you're going to sweat in these, for sure. <laughs> Moving around in these, yeah, that's going to happen. Unavoidable. Looks like we're going to have the cape here, which is always a favorite thing of mine. Of course, but every time I think of capes, I think of Incredibles. No capes. Yeah, we're using capes here. Getting back to it. Um, this is a lighter fabric and a nicer one. This is much nicer than the Dark World. The Dark World was more of a uh, velvet heavy material. This is lighter, more sleek, and more Asgardian looking if you're thinking about it from a, maybe a satin perspective, very shiny, very pretty. Um, it looks like this has two on each side for Velcro just to pop it straight on over the shoulders. I think that's going to be much more useful. This is going to help uh, open up some of the weight that you would normally carry on some of these capes. Don't get me wrong, I like that quality because it does give you that feel, but it is a little bit of a weight down. So put this on the shoulders. Of course, if I bring it up over the shoulders, that should not touch the floor. So that's good. So I'm 5'8", maybe a shade under, shade over, not sure. Um, and this isn't going to touch the floor. It's going to be just barely above the heel. So good stuff. I get a lot of questions about how tall I am, what my build is. For those of you watching this video, 5'8", approximately 150, 155 pounds last time I checked. So, um, yeah. Uh, so, and the thing is too, is outside of the spandex, Sim cosplay does tailor to the individual. So they look at your, your chest, your waist, your uh, hips, um, your calves, your thighs, your biceps, 
um, even down to your shoe size. So don't fret when you see and you're like, yeah, I don't know, is that gonna work for me? Is it a small, medium, or large? Unless you're doing spandex, it just does not work that way. So just follow the prompts, get in there, just take a look at it. This suit is uh, the $269 one, uh, $269.99. There's also a $243. So for the $269.99, it does not have to be that way if you use my personal discount, Green Ranger 1701, to apply 7% off, which brings it to approximately uh, uh, $250. So, and then of course you gotta figure out whatever shipping is, but we can save you a little bit of trouble there. So do use my discount. That lets Sim Cosplay know that you have seen my video, that you've seen my review, and the traffic is coming from here. So it's mega helpful, not only for me, but for you as a consumer as well to save a little bit of money. All right, so next thing we have, oh. these are the boot covers. All right, so that looks a little narrow. So the typical zip fashion, right? So it's gonna come up here, it's gonna fold around. Zip up in the back, it's also got um, a strong elastic, so you know it doesn't pop up in your shoe, doesn't move around a lot. That's something I'm a fan of. Um, but it is not a very thick material, so I don't know how it's gonna do in terms of just sitting up nicely on your knee. There is nothing on this side to, uh, oh, okay, it actually has kind of a bend. Um, almost like a twist tie. So good. It's going to give a little bit of form there. I'm glad they thought of that. Um, so we'll see how that holds up. That's pretty tall, right? That's going to run straight up from the top of your foot, front of your shin, and up to your kneecap. So we'll see how that goes. Ah, the next thing we have is the gauntlets. All right. So total Velcro as per the usual. Uh, you know, I just, I got a hint to them on detail. Uh, they never, they never cease to amaze me on how much they pay attention. Uh, and the craftsmanship's just really, really nice. Uh, a few times do I see loose threads or do I see things unevenly sewn? Um, they just do a really good job. So props to Sim Cosplay for all that you do there. So when it comes to uh, the Velcro piece, so it looks like you can get about a little bit over an inch of gift, depending on how large your forearm is. So they do take that into consideration instead of just adding you know, just a tiny piece of uh, uh, Velcro. So just you can make a little bit of adjustment on that. All right, the next and last thing we have is the overall vest. So <laughs> this might, I'll be a little vulnerable here. Uh, no sleeves, right? So, uh, you know, got a little muscle there. Um, <laughs> you can do what you want. You'll need to have muscle, but uh, uh, my perfection attitude, I, I need to have something. So <laughs> I'll be working these biceps the next couple, the next month or so until we're at Comic Con. Uh, zips up in the back. Uh, not a fan. Um, I don't like when things require two people, and you probably heard me complain about that before. Um, but at least this zipper is a little bit easier to move about on prior um, suits. It usually struggles when it gets right up to about the collar, but. I don't really see any issue. It moves nice and smooth, so that's awesome. Um, and that's really it in terms of, uh, you know, it's not too heavy. So you might sweat in the pants area a little bit because it's pleather and there's a little bit of a velvety in the inside. So you might sweat there, but, you know, I would recommend just wearing a tank top underneath this. I don't imagine it's going to be comfortable just to wear straight uh, pleather over your chest and back. That would probably make you really, really itchy. So I'll probably wear just a standard tank top. Um, you can't wear a t-shirt or anything because obviously that's going to show through. Um, but yeah, uh, otherwise I love, I love the design. I just, again, not a fan of gold usually, but this meshes so nicely and I uh, can't wait to get both these weapons out and try this out. Um, and then of course we have over the shoulders here where to clip the cape or where to attach the cape, excuse me. Um, and then we have, you know, uh, kind of what represents the realms here. Now these do look a little loose. I don't know what they're really connected by, but they look like they'll hold okay. They are plastic. Lots of them here. Oh, well, that's a thin thread there. Okay. Um, might have to do a little bit of work to this uh, just to make sure, to ensure that they don't fall off. But yeah, all right. So let's get straight into the review here. All right, here we are. We're back with the review. As you can see, bit of an appearance change here. It's been some days since I actually unboxed this and, you know, spent some time in it, got to try it out, chop the hair off a little bit, clean up the face, eh, you know, little stuff. Anyway, uh, first thing I'm just going to notice right when I'm getting to this, 
Uh, worst idea ever for sim cosplay is to not put anything in front of these knee pads. They just fall down. This is literally some sort of twist tie that you'd find on a loaf of bread or something. So first recommendation, uh, which I'm going to do by the way, is get some elastic bands, sew them on the ends, and then make sure something just wraps behind the knees so you're not uh, babysitting it. You know I say this in every video, I hate babysitting cosplay. With that said, thank you for joining me today. My name is Green Ranger 10701. Thanks for coming and watching this video. Um, very, very excited for the Thor 11 Thunder film. As we know, we are, it is April 11th, and the reason I'm trying to get this out today is there's been a lot of rumor that uh, this video trailer, we're gonna get a trailer for Thor 11 Thunder. But then again, I've also heard that it's not going to get released until uh, Multiverse of Madness rolls out due to some spoiler content that would kind of ruin it. So what I'm hearing is that the Thor 4 Love and Thunder trailer will debut at the May 5th uh, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness um, movie. So we'll see. Gosh, I'm sick of waiting. I freaking love Thor and I'm really hoping this is going to be far better than Ragnarok. No offense to those out there that like it. Okay, let's get straight into this. First of all, I love the color. The gold and blue, I didn't know if I was gonna like it at first because I'm generally not a fan of gold. I don't wear it in virtually anything. I mean, even my wedding band is a white gold. So uh, so when we think about this, uh, the color shading is good. It meshes really nicely. Now I have seen some of the new released, uh, well not released, but leaked uh, Marvel Legends figures coming up where this doesn't exactly jive with the cosplay that or excuse me, the costume that Thor will have in the movie. But then again, I've seen other things coming out on GameStop.com that do kind of mesh with this. So time will tell, maybe he'll have variations, who knows. Um, but let's talk about this real quick. First of all, the boots did not come with this. Um, they have boot tops. So I just use my Loki cosplay boots on this and they're very efficient because they come up underneath the knee and zip up in the back. They keep the pant legs in. They also thicken up the idea for keeping the uh, knee pads in place, the shin guards. So, uh, first of all, uh, it has a bit of a band underneath, so it actually stays to the shoe. It's going to give it that form. It's going to mesh really, really nicely. Good job on that. Again, these, oh, this is so annoying. If you can tell here, this is literally just bendy. Uh, it's just like using a twist tie on the loaf of bread. Overall, the uh, uh, boot covers, the gig, they just zip up in the back and they clutch the boot and the pant leg really, really nicely, so I'm very fond of that. Uh, the pants, uh, these are not quite a pleather. Um, you know, I don't actually know what I'd call these material, but uh, the gold goes just right down the side, stops at just about a, below the kneecap. So um, that's all well and good. The shin guard's gonna guard, you know, it's gonna block that anyway. Very comfortable. Um, they're elastic also, just a single button and a zip up for the fly. Um, they're elastic enough, but I don't think you're gonna need a belt. Plus these don't have belt loops. So you're gonna have to deal without that anyway. Um, now moving up to, we have uh, the overall chest armor. So of course you can tell these are without, uh, they're not long sleeved, they're not sleeved in any way. So first recommendation, get a tank top underneath. Obviously you're not gonna want something this itchy and scratchy, just Simpsons reference, uh, sitting on your chest all the whole time, sweating, getting warm, like that's just not gonna be comfortable. Um, but it is nice, it's, as this is also lighter than the Thor Dark World cosplay that I have. That one was very tight, very snug, which I prefer, but this gives you a little bit more breathing room and that's kind of nice, especially moving around at a con. And of course, you know, between the pants and this, this is two piece, so bathroom accessible, that's always a plus. This does zip up in the back, um, from the very bottom all the way up to the back of the neck, so that might be a two person gig with you, depending on how flexible you are, you might be able to get that up yourself. I can, it's just very uncomfortable. Um, but again, and you have these little, you know, just like the other rounds in the first movie, uh, these are actually just some plastic. You can actually see a little bit of spacing in between there. Um, I don't like that that's there. I wish these could have been sewn down just a little bit more. They're kind of loose, as you can tell. Um, they still look cool. They're held on tight, it's fine. I just don't like the space in between. It, it, it kind of gives the cheap feel look. Not that it is, it just, if you're standing close enough, you can tell. Um, let's talk about the gauntlets here. Very loose, um, uncharacteristically, have they been in the past, is putting about an inch of Velcro on the top and the bottom. That way you can really uh, vary the one size fits all approach. There's a lot of space in here. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to epoxy glue an additional strip of um, uh, Velcro in. That way we can get a bit of a tighter snug fit there or maybe just get something on the inside to make it hold. You know, obviously you can see that this is just moving around and that's a little too open for me. Um, normally I wouldn't mind, but it just, you also sweat a little bit, which I just, I just want to be snug. Uh, I think you, anybody who's watched my videos already, you kind of know that already. Um, okay, and then the cape, much lighter than the dark world. You can tell this is just a light material. It's also kind of got like a silk appearance, so it's nice and shiny, kind of in line with the Asgard look, right? Very goldish, um, very bright. So I like that, and it's also much lighter. This is much lighter than the velvet uh, cape that we got in the Dark World cosplay, which um, as cool as that looked, it was much heavier, it drug on the back, and if I remember correctly, it kind of hit the ground a little bit, so you had to worry about tripping over it or being really close to people to con, and or the person you're hanging with, and then someone actually step on it, so you always had to be cognizant of that. Um, so not really a big deal there, but very, very light, easy to move. I dig that, right? Because you want to be able to have uh, that breathing room and that space. Still, just barely stands above the ground. Nobody's going to trip on it. So big, big plus there. Um, overall, this cosplay is like a 9.5 out of 10. I did not know what to think when I first ordered it. I wasn't sure that I was, you know, sometimes things look better in pictures uh, than they do in real life. That is not the case here. Uh, very fond of this cosplay. I'll be wearing it at the upcoming Arctic Comic Con here in Anchorage on mm, April 30th and May 1st. So any of my Anchorage peeps or Alaska peeps, whoever's gonna make it, hit me up. Come find me, because uh, you're gonna see me in this, and it's gonna be really fun. On day two, I'll be wearing my Armored Batman cosplay. Review coming soon on that. Uh, lots of kinks to work out there in terms of mobility. So um, that's really it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Let me know what you think of this cosplay below. A, are you excited for Thor Love and Thunder? B, have you watched this? Uh... But that's really it for today. Let me know, are you excited for Thor Love and Thunder? Are you looking at possibly getting this cosplay and what do you think of the design? Do you like what you've seen so far and is some of the clips better than what you've seen? Um, just let me know in the comments down below. By the way, I'll be posting a review to my Thor Dark World cosplay below, so you could also get a bit of an idea of what that's going to look like in contrast. Also, don't forget, if you're going to order from Sim Cosplay, please get 7% off. Use my personal code, GreenRanger1701, all one word, in the discount section before checking out. Get that discount. Not only does that save you some money, but it also lets Sim Cosplay know that there's traffic coming through this and they are seeing my reviews. You know, and if you also enjoyed this video today, please consider liking and subscribing. I appreciate every single bit of your support. This is such a passion for me. Uh, I'll express my gratitude in every single video for you guys. I've seen my um, views go up, my subscribers grow up. We're getting really close to the 500 mark, which is still a Mandalorian cosplay giveaway. So share it with your friends, let them know. If you want a free Mandalorian cosplay, this is your chance to enter. We'll talk about the details down the road. Until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Dragon Sword.